Um, okay guys, today we'll be talking and um, discussing about how to make your shorts. Um, in other, the other of our video, we, we discussed on our pattern drafting and how to make our shorts very easy for us to make. So we'll be linking the pattern drafting on this video so it'll be easy for you to know how this shot was made. This is a shot that's having a band, a front flap, well relaxed and um, a straight pocket. Some people like slant pocket but we have a straight pocket here. And this straight pocket, if you notice, you were not having any stitch on it. This video will teach you how to do your pocket without having a stitch on it and it will be so neat as well that the bottom as well won't be having a stitch as well as that is. Our band is not having a stitch. Everything ends inside of this note. The back well relaxed as well. So just stay with us. So we'll put you through on how to make this. Okay. So you see after our pattern, we have cut it out on our material. You see our shorts unfold. So you see you have it in two pieces over here. Then um, around the flap, you put your stay, your saw stay, you put it even at the pocket side so that whenever you're placing your flap and your pocket, they'll be well relaxed. So here at the bottom of that pattern, where we call, you see what I was explaining. So that we won't be having any excess around here, any shortage around here. This has been ironed, so when folding, to be easy, both the front and the back. This is the back piece and this is the front, both sides stayed as well so you see we have them together with us and at the back we have our dots we've already notched our dot here like our paper says our one inch for joining of that back then um this is our dot we'll be rolling the line um i'm using four inches at the back side here for the dot here i have my straight line I'll be rolling to my half inch like I explained on the pattern paper. Here, this is it. I'll be rolling here as well as this place. Mm -hmm. The same thing we'll do here, four inches down, and then we'll roll. So, after this, we'll be taking it to the machine to so all this down with iron and then that's processing our shorts. Okay, um, our shot is almost ready. This is the front. This is our pocket. We're doing a straight pocket. Here you see. Some people always have their inch here, their stitches line here. You see? But if you don't want that stitch line on your shorts you just want everything to look plain here this is a hemming gum you take your hemming gum cut it out and then turn your material this way open out the pocket line inside here where you have your stay double it so it stays very firm on the body place it on the body this is it you double it so it stays very strong place it on the body fold it back in, turn the material out to the side and then when you iron, you see, here it becomes very thick and firm, it doesn't dance around and then you will be having any stitch here. The same thing you will be doing at this other side. Then you see our flap is ready, you can see neatly done like normal processing of flap. We have our pocketing together with the body to give us our pocket opening. Our pocket opening is six and a half inches. But for you to get it very easy, from the waistline, you mark out one and a half inches to give you your pocket opening. Then your pocket opening is six and a half inches. You see, very easy. Any female hand can pass through it comfortably. So you see. So what you did at the other pocket side, you do the same thing as well at this other side. Don't forget, try to double it so it stays very firm. So you see, you take it inside. On the body, not on the pocketing, please. This is a pocketing. On the main body. And then you turn it. And then iron it flat. 
not going anywhere it's looking relaxed now so you see and uh, this is the back side we have fixed our dart see iron very flat to this side we've woven our flap at the back open and neat so we'll be joining the two parts of the shorts the front and the back weave and then come back to show you what it looks like hmm? so as you can see we have closed the two sides of our shorts neatly woven same with the inner leg and this is the bottom side this is the last part to do to sew or to hem on your shorts you see everything is relaxed everything is well and relaxed the stitch down equal you can see so we'll be connecting our band to the back this is our band your waist measurement plus 12 don't forget please because what I'm having here is my 31 into 2 plus 6 inches something is happening here this will be coming from the back to meet the front this is it because the back is where I have joined it same with the front away from the side here so you see for safety please the same thing will be happening here as well so we'll be joining these two sides together to connect we are sewing from the inside or from from the outside to the inside reason why I said that if you notice my band this place is smaller than the underside just like we have on our red made English band you see so one, so that when you sew from the um, the outside going back to the inside of the clothes when you're lapping to sew that underside where you match from the outer side of your clothes whereby you won't see your stitch on this place will be resting from inside here to meet at the back side you see, when I'm done with this I'll show you but make sure whenever you're making your material band they are not equal please the under one should be longer than the front one no matter the inches you want to use because what I have here is two inches band that's how bold I want my band to look if you want one and a half the same idea should be used the under one should be longer than the short one please so I'll be connecting this on the machine and then bring it back so you see what I'm talking about so this is it I've stayed the band hmm? then you observe something when you want to connect your ba band at the back some of us always make this thing very straight our sewing here very straight no it's not straight at the point of your back at the back side where we always have our shooting side please don't make it straight try to dip in your hand so that when you finish making that just take it a bit inside and then back to the measurement of your waist so that when you relax this you'll be having this curve at the back like this so that when you finish sewing the, the short this relaxation at the back stays not pushing out like this is meant to relax on your body just flat like this sit to be cold around the back so please take note whenever you're sewing you're joining your band to the body first take your normal measurement at the downside at the outside slant your hand bit inside by half and then shaping it back please be conscious of here all right let's join this back to our short all right so you see we've joined our band from the outside you see to the inside now what i was explaining the other time see this one is now longer than the one outside so when you're stitching from the inside under here instead of on top of your material you stitch from under here it will rest on this one direct this is it when stitching is arranged you see to be resting on this instead of showing on the material or losing its size you just sew here and it shows under here so for your band it's better your band is excess than not enough but some of us have issues with our front side of the band dragging length with the underside no if you're having such issues you don't have to make it the under one straight like the outer one you slant your hand your hand a bit instead of this straight stitch slant it inside a little you can even do more but just a little as much as you know you can but not straight if you do it straight you can find out this one could be running out 
all not well placed so as we've slanted it you just trim it out off and then turn it like we did with the other one and then when you zip up here is equal you see it's gone inside by itself it's not coming out because i've slanted this side if i'm not this place is likely to start showing itself so you see everything is balanced so we'll go to stitch it down round and then um do our hemming and we're done with our shorts so this is it we've joined the band this was what i was explaining see so if you don't have an english band and you want to use your material see to be resting on this stitch direct and neatly made see from the outside you won't have your stitch but it's showing inside knit so our shorts is almost done with this idea of making shorts we show sure we are very helpful at this angle so if this process has made your sewing short very easy don't forget to like our video don't forget to turn on your notification bell and subscribe because as it is our short is remaining just the hemming part which is the last part of your short the bottom side is the end work of your short and we won't be running any stitch on it we'll be using a hemming gum to hem this since we don't have any stitch showing on any part of this clothes yeah this is how it's supposed to be neatly done don't forget this our hemming gum you take it don't forget to double it as well so it will be very neat like this so you see so you turn to the back and then you put your hemming gum and yes um don't forget to drop your comments at the comment section i'll be very happy to hear your comment to see your comment there so that i can answer you whatever it is that you have that is stopping you about making shorts there's no problem with that and then try to check um the other video we'll be linking it to this other video the pattern cutting of this shirt so making your own process will not be hard for you so this is it the process of this is not hard at all you have it under here very firm to the clothes double it don't forget to double it so it doesn't pull up later so you see you iron it down see it's very flat and then you turn to the other side and then you run the same thing at this other side carefully so you see don't forget to double it so it stays very firm on your coat. Double it, please. I'm sure this process will make your clothes when it comes to making your shorts very easy for you. Very, very easy. Both the cutting, both the making, the finishing. This process is very, very simple. You don't have issues. You see, that idea of folding the bottom side of your hemming allowance this is what is giving us. Well relaxed, I tell you. Well relaxed. No one will be bigger than the other one. So you see, you pass this inside of it. Neat and relax. And then iron it down. You see. The same thing you do on the other leg. Double it, please. Double it. This is very easy for you. So, see. 
our shot is ready. So, this is it. The down is neatly done. You can iron again from the outside. We did the same with the other leg. Oh, we're having a space here. Mm. Double it, please. We missed the track here. Oh, huh? it's okay. And see, take it back inside. As so. This is it. And then with iron. If you're having any soil, please don't don't waste time to raise it up and adjust. Hmm? Yes, this is it. And then you adjust it. You descend to the other side. Adjust it. Then you open the iron to this side to give you a quick finishing and neat one. See, the side of your short, the inner leg as well. As you can see, they're both equal. See, no one is longer than the other one. See the same thing you do this other side. So you see, you do the same with your inner leg. The other side. And then around the band, you iron your band side as well. Everything is looking relaxed. I'm ready to wear. See, our shirt is ready. So you could try your own as well. First, I advise you you try with your measurements, your own body measurements, and then you try on somebody else. You see, everything is out. You can see her hip is coming out. She has a round tie, well balanced. Her waist is out. You notice that here is not puffing up. Is shaped and relaxed at the back so once she's wearing this it will just curve with her waist and that's this, this is the bottom of our shot um this is it thank you for joining us in our class we hope um this our idea has helped you we'll see you in our next video bye